Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on my Trace by channel. Uh, start off, take control space, open up your content browser, and make a blueprint. Uh, it's, a, it's an actor. I named it line trace underscore vp. Then you want to come over here to components after you open it up. Uh, you can get anything you want. I'm going to grab a sphere. You can also use a first person character for this. I'll explain how to do that in a bit. But first, I'm going to size it down by half. And then come over to the blueprint and graph. Then from here, hold down your left mouse button, hit backspace, and get delete all that. For this tutorial, I'll be using event begin play. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Come over here, get a E key if you want or whatever, and the keyboard or input action. But I'll be using event begin play. Then from here, I'll be using a dual once node. This isn't necessary, uh, but yeah. Then from here, I'll get line trace by channel. Sometimes it'll prompt you to do a multi line trace by channel, but you want to click with this one. And there you go. Now you have a line trace by channel. Then from here, a quick little tip take control on both of these, then press Q, it'll line it up. Then from here, if you're using a first person character, you can just grab your camera, but since I'm using a sphere, I'll grab the sphere, drag it out, and get the world ro location. Then I'll get the world rotation, followed by the forward vector. Then from here, drag out from the forward vector, shift eight, get the multiply operator, and then the bottom left pin, turn it to a float. You can use whatever number you want. I'll be using 1000. Then from get world location, or yes, hit, get an add operator. Then attach this pin to this pin right here. And attach this to the end. Then get the world location. Plug it in to start. And you can, you can just fix this up if you want. I'll leave it like this for now. So I fixed it up like this. And I'll explain the line trace by channel. We're starting off with the execution pin. You can kind of just treat this like a power line. So if it comes from an event, it'll power things up. Then we have the start. This is where your line will start. And then we have the end. This is where your line will end. This is affected down here by the float. And then right below start and end is trace channel. There's two of these by default. You can make your own if you want, but essentially in your collision presets, there will be visibility and camera. Then from there, you can choose whether or not you want to ignore them, overlap them, or block them, but you can't overlap them in line trace. You can only do that in multi-line trace. It's useful if you want to ignore a certain object and hit the other object behind that object. And that's what you use the trace channel for. Then, right below the trace channel is trace complex. You can click this on or off if you want to trace complex collision or simple collision. So, since it's checked off right now, this will use simple collision. But if you were to check it on, it would trace complex collision. Then right below here is actors to ignore. You can just drag out, make an array for certain actors you want to ignore. And then there's draw debug type right below there. There's four of these. None basically make it so it will shoot out a line, but you won't be able to see it. In general, line trace by channel will shoot out a line. And then for one frame, you're gonna be able to see that line for one frame. For duration, correlates down here and hit this little button. Let's see draw time. So if you were to hit for duration, you will see the line for about five seconds. And then persistent, this just makes it so that the line will stay as long as you don't hit this button right here to stop the simulation. I also forgot to mention that up here you can choose how the game will play. You select the viewport. If you have a player spawn, you'll spawn in. 
but I'll be using Simulate, so I don't actually spawn in. And yeah, so this right here is just the pause button. But anyways, moving on, there's Ignore Self. This is checked on by default. This will ignore the object that's when it's shooting from. So if you're doing the first person character, it ignores your first person character. Then right below here is trace color and trace hit color. Trace color is the line color. Now the line will stay red until it hits something. Then it will turn green. But the beginning part of the line before it hits something will stay trace color. And after it hits, it will turn into a green or whatever hit color you have. Then from here, you're actually gonna drag from out hit and get break hit result. Then hit the slow button so you can see all this information. But from here, get your return value and we're gonna make a branch like that. I'll drag this down a little bit more. Now from here, if you want, you can just do print string. Now you will be see exactly what all these do you want. So you can just drag this into in string and get the information. Now I'll start explaining the break here result, starting off with the booleans. Booleans are just true and false information. So this right here and blocking it. If the line hits something, it'll tell you by giving you a true, but if it doesn't hit anything, it'll give you a false. An initial overlap will tell you that if the line begins from within something, it'll give you a true. If it's not beginning from within something, it'll give you a false. Then there's the floats, time and distance. This will just give you time from zero to one, but if it reaches one, or equals one, that means the line didn't hit anything. But if it's anything between zero and one, that means the line hit something, and it'll tell you how much it took within the span of one second. And then there's distance. This will tell you how much distance it gained or how far it went. But this will be uh, up to the max of whatever you hit or whatever you put down here in the float down here. So it will not go to 1001. Because the line won't be that long. Then we have the vectors. Starting off with location on the image right around here. It just tells you the location of the world in your X, Y, and Z in the world space. And then there's impact point. This is just a more precise version of location. Now, I didn't put, have any decals, so I'll really be showing that. But I still have also have the image there. But anyways, normal is just uh which you use for decals is more like a decal type of thing. Impact normal, same as impact point, just another more precise version of normal. Then there's the object references, or just references. You would create references to certain things. So if you had a physical material with the line, we will change things about the physical material. Same as for the actor. You would occur a reference to the actor and change the information about it from within here if you want. And same thing for the component. So there's multiple things within an actor. You can add a certain component and change the information for that. Then there's hit bone and bone name. I'm pretty sure these are just like the same thing, just a couple of minor differences. So with hit bone name, if you were to hit an object or no, a skeleton, like Say you hit the head of a skeleton, we would do things like, you know, you want to hit a headshot, maybe you hit an arm, you can probably do something like dismember that arm or something. For bone name, if it's like a singular thing, it'll tell you the bone name, and if there's multiple, it'll tell you the root. Then there's the integers, hit item, on the index, and face index. For hit item, it'll tell you which item inside a primitive was hit. For element index, if a primitive has multiple things within it, it'll tell you which index was hit. And for face index, this is for things like trimesters or landscapes. It'll basically tell you which face was hit from within an object. And that's pretty much it. 
and then to end off with trace at start and trace end this will just give you the x y and z in world space of where your trace begins and where it ends and that concludes this tutorial on one trace a channel and also break hit result uh, if you want you can just come over here put this in see what you get and that's well, I already said it, that's the end. Bye.